Right. According to the tute and also the note that we have, we were discussing about the computer errors and troubleshooting part. So here we were discussing about different kind of errors. So one common error that you all face is running out of memory. Most of the computers we saw that the memory was not enough. So the computer speed drops. When the memory not enough, speed of the computer, it drops. So that happens. So memory is a critical component and we saw the components unwanted. So we can clean the memory, the applications using unwanted memory, we can clean them and we learn different other methods like uploading or downgrading down, down -grading the operating system and application software, upload, update in the RAM. You, I, either you have more RAM or you have less usage. Usage or you can increase the amount of RAM. So that is the solution. Then we learn about different other reasons for this and like malicious software. Then we learn automatic execution of unwanted program. Unwanted programs are executed automatically, automatically running programs. So that can be a virus issue. So mostly, and that can be even a configuration error. Mainly a malicious, malicious software, or it can even be a configuration error. So here, I, actually, I couldn't mention that. Configuration, at least update. Configuration error. It can even be a configuration error. Error in settings. That can also be a problem for automatic running applications. Sometimes you put, when you start the computer, run this application, but that is not needed. Automatic, you without reading that, you put that. Right? Without reading the instructions, sometimes you pick or on the application or run the application, right? run the application without, uh, so run the application when the computer runs. So because of that, Right? Okay. Then advertisements, adware, some automatic showing advertisements, mostly adware, or it can be malicious software, malware. So these are the uh, problems. So automatic restarting of the computer can be due to hardware or software. We discuss about that as well. Peripheral device errors, time errors, and we saw the CMOS can be used to uh, find the, like fix the time error. CMOS battery, basically a battery can be used to. So if your time is always, if your computer is forget, forgetting your, the time. So maybe the reason may be this uh, CMOS battery. Right, okay. Then, so date time errors, we learned that date time errors can be due to this BIOS or the CMOS battery. Actually, so this battery, the three volt batteries, they are in keys, right? Car keys. So same battery, right? Three volt battery. Car key also, you can see this key, three volt battery inside this car keys, right? This one. This is inside the car key. Even some, after some time, you have to replace this battery. This is the three volt battery. Same three volt battery, the coin battery, we have to replace if there is a date time error. Right? We learned that as well. Peripheral devices errors, application errors, and computers not turning on one of the critical errors. Screen errors, we learned these things last day. And even the operating system errors. Right. Now it's time to learn about the next error, not connecting to the internet. Okay, can you tell me what are the reasons if your computer is not connected to the internet? So what are the main reasons? So, uh, Wi-Fi is not working. Yes, one can be connection error. Connection problems. 
So it can be Wi-Fi signal issue or route issue. Or it can even be Ethernet cable issues or Ethernet switch issues. Ethernet means the cable, right? Route issue. Ethernet is the cable, right? Wi-Fi, you know the wireless one. Ethernet is this. I think you have seen this cable. Uh, when these cables are there when connecting to this desktop computers and all and raw server computers and even for laptops you can connect ethernet compute here yeah. ethernet port is there for laptops even so that can be ethernet cable error right this is ethernet cable so please write down so it can be a wi-fi signal issue or router issue ethernet cable issue or even it can be adapter issue card or micro or maybe uh, IC errors. Adapt issue, card issue or microchip issues. Okay. So what's the switch? Network switch today. This is network switch. Right, network switch is where you connect these Mm, and wiring, you can see the wiring. So let's say switch is basically connected to devices. You can see from the switch or from the router, there is a switch or hub. So that can be connected to many devices. So that is the network switch, right? When you have a switch, if you have a single connection, Using the switch, you can divide this connection to multiple computers. Maybe in your schools, you have seen, haven't you? Schools are the same. They 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 are the same. Another thing you can see a lot of wires. These are heavy switches, right? You can see here a lot so of those wires are, so those wires are interconnecting to a, many computers, right? Yeah, many computers. Correct. This wires CCTV also it's similar to that, but not same wire. But these wires are then connecting to the uh, computers, multiple computers in your lab. So let's say you have. 50 computers, then these there will be 50 wires connected to. Them. So you have only one internet connection, right? That internet connection is basically connected to this switch, and switch will divide it to multiple computers. Something like this. When you get internet connection, the switch will divide it to multiple devices. So that is what happened, right? I think now you have the idea. Or it can be now the connection problem can be adapter card integrated circuit errors. Or oh, switch router issues, Ethernet cable issues, Wi Fi signal issues. Uh, due to obstacles and rainy condition. So that can even be a reason, right? Some rainy days, if you have wireless connections, in rainy days, there are drops. When rain, sometimes connection drops. It can be 
ISP or server issues. ISP means internet service provider, internet seva dena kena. So that can be error from internet service provider or their server. The service pro providing entity that can be error from them. Or disconnected networks. Disconnected networks. Disconnected networks. So that can even be a. So maybe disconnected due to not paying, disconnected due to some other reason. So that can even be an issue for the connection. Okay, anything else? What do you think? Anything else? How you can get this connection error? So, sorry, internet connection issues. It can be improper configurations. Improper configurations or settings, errors in settings or invalid settings. Even it can be daytime error. The time errors, then um, the IP address or the address or routing errors, name server errors. So these are more details, right? But you don't need that. Oh, much. Current gamma in yes, due to power cuts. So that is a connection problem, right? Overuse of internet. Yeah, overuse of their data. Right, we can see like uh, limited connections. So that can even be a reason. Correct. So date time mm -hmm. errors, address routing errors, name server errors. Name server means it's not translating your name properly due to unwanted devices connected to the internet mm, yeah maybe device errors that is another thing device errors and it can be driver errors too Software errors. Software errors can be, these are basically device errors can be broken or uh, like uh, broken or devices with errors. Software errors can be operating system. driver errors application errors so those are also there yeah. operating system errors driver errors application errors are also there please write down all these things let me know once you are done it's, a, it's something like right Name server error means put it this one, right? For any uh, internet connected website or for any website, there is a number that is called IP address. For Google also, there is a number. So let me tell, let me show this. 
if I use my terminal, you can use your command prompt to find out. So the number related to Google is this. So let's browse it. If I say ping www.google.com in my command prompt or terminal, it gives some message. You can see it. The message coming from this number. This is like phone number. So every connected mobile phone or land. Sir, phone, then can't we contact it? Like, can, can we contact, contact that number? Yeah, you can contact. That's what I'm telling. So, so first listen. First listen, after that come in, right? Otherwise, you will be in the halfway. If you comment, you can understand. Can't understand. So basically, you can use that number to connect. I'm putting the number here. I'm putting 74125. 200 and this number, then you can see it's connecting to Google, right? When I try to connect this number, it's connecting to Google. But the thing is, can you remember the number? Is it easy? No, sir. Which one is easy? Google.com or this number? Google.com. Google.com. So we used to remember the names because numbers are uh, like long and difficult to remember. Therefore, we used to remember the names. Numbers Name server is the server which convert this. It's like our phone book today. Our phone book convert number to name and name to number. No? Similar to that, this name server is converting. Here, the name servers are converting number to name and name to number. Right? Number is basically this. So, example. And it's converting that to www.google.com. If something wrong there, it won't load the web page. So let's say it cannot convert the number to name properly, then it won't load the it won't load the web page. So that can even yes. be an error. Yes. If we want to get the google.com in our device, we can't we are we have to type only our IP, uh, IP address, right, sir? If you repeat the question. If we want to get www.com, google.com, www.google.com site, sir, uh -huh. we have to type on the other IP address. No, site, this, is, this is Google's IP address. So this number is called IP address, right? This number is called basically IP address. Actually, this IP address belongs to Google, right? This IP address belongs to Google. This is not our IP address. This is Google's IP address. If you want to find your IP address, that is a different story, right? If somebody wants to connect to your computer, then you, you need to provide your IP address. You also have IP address. You also have it. You can find by IF config or in Windows IP config. So that is to find your IP address. In case this my IP address is this one. It is uh, this, uh, you can see. 192.168.1.4 is my IP address. Right? This is my local IP address. But if you want to find the IP address of, let's say, Facebook, P I N G www.facebook.com, and you can see the IP address comes from this. This is the IP address. Then, if you copy and try this IP address, it should reach Facebook, right? You can see it's reaching Facebook. So that's it. Likewise, if you know IP address, you can reach that. But the thing is, it's not possible to remember the IP address always. Therefore, you need a number. There is a person in middle which convert name, number to name and name to number. But the thing is, unfortunately, if this not works, you want, you cannot connect internet. You cannot connect to the web actually. Not, you can connect to the internet, but you can't connect to the web. So that can be improper configuration. Yeah, Address, we have to type, can you show it from the command prompt, sir? Which one? But we have to type find Facebook IP address, sir. P I N G space this www.facebook. Thank P -I -N -G space, you, sir. P I N G space then the name. P I N G space www.facebook.com will give you Facebook IP address. Google.com will give you Google's IP address. 
okay right so don't think much about these things we will learn in the networking lesson right okay let's go back to the device errors broken devices so the errors in devices will also be a problem and the software errors can be operating system errors driver errors what are the drivers drivers so especially you can write about drivers if you don't know so what are drivers So is it something like Google Drive? No, not actually. Nice try, but not that. So similar to the driver and car. Car has a driver because driver can drive the car. Similar to that, each and every hardware component has a driver. So it can drive that hardware component. It's not like driving like a car, but it can basically manage, communicate with and so basically configure so that is why drivers are needed right so please write down similar to car and driver in bracket driver drives the car it is required to have a special system software called driver software to drive hardware, to drive hardware. Sir, can you go up a little? I had a connection for that. Sorry, can you repeat? So can you go up a little? Uh, I want to see the... Okay, sir, thank you. Okay, what is a driver? Please write down. Driver is a special system software. Special system software. Well, drive to drive the hardware. What is driving hardware? It manages, please write, it manages communicate with communicate with and link, uh, communicate with and controls the hardware controls the hardware. It manages, communicates with, and control the hardware. When you install a fresh copy of an operating system, it is compulsory to Excuse me, sir. Yes. Software is the driver, right? The hardware is the car. Yes, software is the driver. Hardware is the car. That is the equation, right? Similar to that. Not that accurate, similar to that. When you install a fresh copy of operating system, it is compulsory to check driver, drivers and driver updates. You can continue by skipping this step, but it may cause Slow down, errors, misconfigurations,
it may it may cause slowdown errors misconfiguration and even crashes of OS and software. You can avoid and install, but there will be problems. It's bit so it's always advisable to install, right? You can ignore, but that is a careless way. So let's check that. Let's see the results now. There will be results okay. button practically, right? Let's see the results practically. Finish? Or still no, doing? No, sir. Still doing, sir. Okay. Now let's see the results practically in your machines, right? So the results of not installing drivers. Right. I would like to see the settings in your computer. Let's, uh, I'll suggest you a small tool, a free one, actually a trial software, right? Uh, I'll give you a chance to share the screen, but before that, I, I think you can download this tool. So let's download this software, driver easy, right? So this is a free scanning tool, but so it uh, it is uh, not just free, it has, free and paid versions, it's a trial version. So let's use the trial and see the status of your compute. So what are the drivers needs and what is the status of your computer? Because this matters, right? Most of the problems are due to drivers. Most of the problems that we discuss. So for an example, slowness of your computer can even be a driver. So I don't know whether I wrote this and that point, the slowness of the computer can be field storage, processor overuse, and unwanted application tools, peripheral device issues. Ah, here, driver, I have given. Drivers of special software, make a QB and any special software. I have even given that in your note. Special software which helps. You also forgot, right? It's a special software which helps the hardware device to communicate with other, other devices, right? This I have already given. So slowness can even be due to that. So I have given that reason. So let's see the status of drivers in your computer now. So please download this software and install it. And you can share the screen also while doing this, you can share the screen. Okay, this is Basuru and Basuru, can you download the software? Ah, oh, yeah, you have that and install it, yes. Okay, launch now, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes. We have to click on buy now, right? No, no, no. Don't click on buy now. If you have money, you can do that. <laughs> if you don't have money, don't do that. So just go try now. Do you have that? Okay, you can scan now. Okay, can you share who said that buy now comes to who got the buy now? Do you mean, are you? And no, sir, I don't think I have like the download one. Yeah, you have free trial here. Don't click on buy, just click on the free trial. Just there. don't click buy now, then you need to purchase that. Later, if you have money, you can purchase. If you like the software, let's purchase. For the moment, let's install the free trial. Okay, after downloading, please open the tool, Bhutte, please open the tool. Okay, it will take some time, depend on your computer and display you a setup, right? Uh, excuse me, sir, it is telling to enter the admin username and the password for me. Yeah, maybe because you are not the admin of your computer, it's asking the admin username and password. Just give it, otherwise it won't install. Excuse me, sir. This software is every, if it, it tells you, this software is free every day, right? Free for every day, right? 
No, not for every day. Let's see the conditions. Maybe for limited time, right? Let's see that. But no need to buy with an uninstall after that. Can you minimize this? I just want to see whether it's there in some other. Minimize it. We have to share the entire screen. You have not shared the entire screen, so I cannot see that. They will mean share the entire screen. Just don't share the window, then I cannot see what's going on. Share the entire screen, they will mean. Okay, Peter, I share the entire screen. Uh, no, they will mean. When you minimize, I cannot see anything. Means you no, have Peter. No, no, sir, I have. I have. Mm -hmm. Can others see? Uh, sir, multiple sharing then. Uh, sir, can't you see? Okay, try again. Ten years. Have you installed the software? No. Just double click and open the software. Yes, then you can. Okay, this is Dulina. Yes, you can install the link. I have given the multiple sharing so others also can share. And this is from Basuru. You can just uh, go to the view option and view your friend's screen, right? This is Basuru. And this is uh, Muad. Yeah, you have to click on scan now, Muad. All, all of you can share the screen, then I can just move in between. Dulina again. I think you had a scan. You haven't enabled uh, multiple share. So every time someone shares, the other person is on top. Yes, I just want to see this. Sir, what the multiple share. Now click scan now. Sorry? Yeah, scan now. Okay, you can see more. There are 22 applications. You need to update. Okay, let's see. Right? Let's see uh, here. Uh, let's see, put a uh, Muad's stream. So you can see 22 available updates again so what what has happened actually in Mod's computer what has happened he has not installed updates for 22 software so see it's a big issue right even so you can just go down put it and you can see some are uh, these are up to date no go up let's go up these are up to date some are very important drivers please go up move up move up all are up to date these are okay these, all these are okay, but they are missing. Okay, you can see here, the audio driver. He has not installed the audio driver. That's a very important thing. And audio effects, he has not installed. That is also a very important thing. Right now, if you want to install, you can click update. But don't update all, that won't work. Update. Update all, but I can update all will not work. Update. Okay, so then, uh, yes, continue. Continue. Close this. You don't want to update for the pro. Just close it and it will install. Yes. Then when you close this, you can see it's downloading the update and trying to install that. Just wait until it's installed, right? Okay, who else wish to share? Who else wish to share? Tenia, okay, you have 11 updates. That is in, including the tuning messenger, event field. Okay, those are not really important. Just move down, Tenia. Ah, here, wireless Bluetooth, that is important, right? That is important. You can just 
update it. And wireless here connector that can also be updated. Yes, continue. Then close this, close this. Don't update to pro, close this, and you can, you can see it's downloading. And you can install that after downloading, right? After downloading, you can install that. Okay, who else wish to share? I have so I have to give the chances as much as possible. So all of you, Yashnit. Oh my god, Yashnit. So how many? 38 updates. Means you have never updated, right? The drivers. So that is that is very, very large amount today. So you have to worry about your computer's health. Just move down slowly. I'll show you one important thing. Just move down yeah. further, 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 further. Oh, oh no, no, actually I'm not. Those are up to date. You don't want to worry about them. Only need to read the 38, initial 38. Go up, move up, put it down. Just move up, further, further, further. And now, now it comes. <coughs> move up a little. Okay, you can see. Your HD audio not installed, USB video camera not installed, webcam driver not installed. So a lot of issues, right? You can think of installing, just update this. But it will need you uh, like 30 or 350 MB, right? Consider about that as well. But anyway, it's better to update. Continue. Close this. And then it will be automatically updating. That part, right? It'll take some time, but we'll update. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So what's? Uh, uh, you have that. You have to try with some other uh, connection. So other channel. Yes, sir. I got a small oh, issue, yeah. sir. Yes. What is that? Yes. Sir, I'm speaking like this, sir. Can you see, sir? Uh, can you see, sir? This is not issue, no? So you have to just click OK. No, no, sir. I install now. Sir, I didn't click any of these, sir. But after that, sir, I got a notification. Launch now. Yeah, then launch it. Launch it, did they? Then what? So it's working normally. Okay, then close it. You don't need this. You can close this one. That is basically updating. Okay, now just uh, minimize this. Minimize this. Because it's already installed to your computer and you can see it's running. So what's so the problem? That Google the third issue. Sorry? So that Google window is the issue. No, that is not issue. It's, they are displaying the advertisement. They want you to install their paid software, but you can just skip that if you don't like. Yes, sir. Scan now. Yes. Uh, sir, I have got an issue. Okay, I'll, I'll let you share. So let's see how many updates remain in the Rehansa's computer. And then I'll let you share, right? Okay, sir. Everybody should try this. Okay, you can see she has installed this. Now check in with the database and 16, that is something okay. So it seems you have optical mouse connected to your computer. It's asking to install an audio driver, again missing, but your audio will work with it. But if you install the audio driver, it will be better. You can just try, just update that, just give a try. Click on the update. Yes, continue this. It's asking to create a system restore point. In case of some error, you can restore down. Then close it. Close it. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I didn't ask you to close that. I think you have to click update again. Continue. Close the advertisement only. The advertisement only. You can use this close button. 
Okay, that's enough. And wait now. Don't close this. If you close this, it will not download your driver. Read it before tossing. Now you can see it's downloading, right? After that, the installation comes. Well, let's wait until download. Let's wait until download. It will take uh, okay, 14%, 15%, 16% up to 20% and uh, somewhat slow, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let it download. And so others, who got issues today? Can you raise your hand if yeah. you have issues? Please tell me the issues. Tell me the issue. Yes, sir, Tanya, what is the issue, uh, Tanya? Uh, Tanya? Sir, after I uh, downloaded it uh, and I went to install, it opened a folder and then nothing happened. When you try to install, it opens a folder and nothing happens. Did you double click on the setup file? Where, yeah, sir? In the downloads, uh, you can see the setup file. When you download a file, there will be setup file. You can just double click on that. Did you click on that? No, sir. I installed the, I downloaded the driver, but they sent me to a folder uh, with some files in it. Yeah, then? Uh, nothing happens. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll check, right? Dulina, yes, what's your problem, Dulina? Dulina also has a problem. Uh, sir, sir, my computer case, Hammer William, Google Chrome, Killer, uh, Epic of Tax Manager, see it a hat a hatak CPU run kernel. So that is Google Chrome, right? So you have yes. open your, no, sir, you have open your browser. No, open kernel at Matthew at the edit taker, you know, sir. Okay, that we can check, right? Okay, Rehans, I think you have just downloaded and you can just close this. No, just, uh, no, no, no. Just continue it, continue it again. Okay, and close this. Okay, now, okay, this is the folder and you can see the driver. This is the driver, Ute. Can you see the driver? Uh, this is what Tanya was telling. So you, uh, your driver is downloaded. But the installation didn't happen, right? So that is the issue. So you download, you have downloaded the driver, but installation not happens. That is the issue, no? Okay. So how can we install the driver? Okay, let's right click on this PC. So keep it minimized. Can you minimize it? Just keep it minimized. And then, right? So please go to your this PC, this PC, then right click and manage, manage. This I already told, that's why I say, right click and manage. When you manage, then you have to make it. Then you got the same problem. You, you are going to a folder, but it's not installing by its own. Doesn't matter. You can go to manage and then check your Device manager. And then check your audio here. It's problem of audio, right? You should remember which driver you have downloaded. Just expand this. Right. You can see here real tech high definition audio. Can you see? That is the download that you have down. That is the driver that you have just downloaded. Can you right click on that? Right click on that. And there is something called update driver. Can update. I click it? Yeah, yeah, click on the update driver. When you click on the update driver, you can you browse my computer for drivers. Then, can you go to the minimize folder, which is the minimize folder? Or minimize karapika kali? Can you go to that folder? No, not that. Okay, you can see. Can you copy this path? You can use copy path. Yes, right click and copy. Or control C, yes, whatever. Then go browse and all right. Okay, now next. Next. Okay, okay. 
next okay already installed the best driver for your device already installed is it this real tech high definition hd or so i cannot remember go to this one okay i'm not sure whether that is the one or uh, no, no display audio right that is intel r display audio okay okay right you can see it's downloaded yes go back now close this close this close cancel this right intel r display audio or you can see this is the one right okay so that's my mistake right click update driver give that uh, yes uh, browse from my computers for drivers and then give that path and next next okay you can see installing drivers so that is how you have to install a driver because this software is not automatically installing so if you purchase this it will, it will install right if you purchase this it will install but here you didn't purchase it ne? Therefore, it's not supporting. You have to manually install that. But there are some tools automatically installing the drivers. They may copy manually. We have to go to that place and update the driver and then update. Right? That is what we have to do because why? The software is not supporting automatic driver install. So that is the reason why you have to install like this button okay others uh, who said problems can share now you can see it's installed right successfully updated driver and close it okay now one so, is more one problem is, yes no, but this thing is this the name of folder yeah this is the name of folder okay so i can what? get it close right yeah, close. You can close it. Likewise, you have to install one by one, right? That is the method of installing drivers. So okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, Dulina can share. So who said uh, there's a problem? That also, yes. Who else said there's a problem? Is it Deomi? Uh, no, no. So one also said Tani, I think. Yeah, Tani, Tani also. Task manager, go to the task manager. I just want to see your status. What's going on? Click on the task manager. You can see Google Chrome is running. C H R O M E Chrome. Right click Google Chrome. Just right click. Okay, this is slowness, right? Right click on the Chrome. Hello. Right click over the here. Can you right click? Hmm. You need to right click and then find the location of the file. It seems that he cannot hear me, right? Dulina, can you? Dulina, you have to right click. I think he's having a problem connecting. Don't know why. Right, okay. So, Tania, you said that you have a problem. Can you share the stream? Sir, uh, as you did on the last... Uh, oh, you followed that. As you told, and it worked. Right, it worked. Okay. Great. Now, you know how to install a driver. Who else actually have a problem? Like, who else? So, you can share Let's the screen. Me, sir. Yeah. So, may I share the screen? Okay. Please go to the task manager, right? Please. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have a problem. Hmm. Dulina, right click on the task manager, please, on the Google Chrome. Please right click. Okay, then go to the open file location. See whether the file is original. Is it Google Chrome? Okay. Yes, it's from Google Chrome application. Yeah, same thing. Just end the, end the task, right click and end task, not there. Go to the task manager, right click and end task. It's running on the background, maybe it's infected with some virus, right? That can be the reason. You can right click here, you can see the Google Chrome in the bottom. 
just end task uh, so that won't affect your computer it's okay to end task right okay maybe there can be a adware or something attached to that that's why it's automatically run it's original google chrome but the thing is it running in the background you can turn that off okay now you can see it's released who else put it who else have a problem who else have problems the month okay sir i know it's my father's name sorry sir i know it's my father's name uh -huh. okay so after uh, do i have to click this to update no no go up go up your drivers are okay but there are some drivers missing so for an example in intel r display audio intel hd graphics uh, that is you can see 1.4 gb but that is very important driver it is that is very important driver which is needed so if you have enough data you can think of downloading this but if you don't have data don't it's okay so this is also very important you can download this driver also it's also very very important driver but you have to remember the name of the driver and manually install after downloading so then do i have to click update uh if you need you can do but uh, since this consume lot of data talk with your parents and do that right okay so thank you sir because it consumes some data 1.2 here and 1.4 here but all are required updates okay sir anyone else rehan sir i think you have already shared yeah. Yes, the speaker is the my grandfather's uh, speaker, sir. But it's telling me up to date, sir. But up to date, sir. Yeah, if if it is up to date, then uh, no need to worry. So that's okay. If it is up to date, no need to install. So another question, I update one of one update, no, sir. So it will be fifteen, no, sir. So you have to close it and take it back. okay sir okay i think now you know about the drivers and importance of the drivers there are some other tools to this so which will automatically install the drivers but you have to be careful sometimes this software might have viruses right so always go for a genuine software one is this is also a very good one uh, drivers cloud uh, duomo Uh, so this is also okay do more drivers proud and then snappy driver installer is also a very good tool to install device drivers right even without internet it's it's good tool snappy driver install it's also available for windows to install the drivers right so these are some tools which you can use to install drivers excuse me sir yes excuse me sir So well, that means, sir, uh, the Snappy driver one is working without internet also. Yeah, but you have to download all the drivers. That's the thing. Driver Genius, please write down. Driver Easy. If we are closing driver, is uh, when we are opening open it again, sir, we are we have to scan it again, right, sir? Yeah. driver genius driver ec snappy driver are some tools which can be used to scan and install drivers we can also do this by accessing the device manager accessing the device manager when you go to device manager also device manager is also showing missing drivers with a problem icon right so let me show some example here device manager driver problem so if there is a driver problem to the the device manager will show that hmm, with a question mark 
here you can see o oh, a problem mark here you can see a problem mark so you need to install that here you can see the real talk real tech high definition audio a problem mark means you need to install the driver right when you go to the manage right click and manage this pc when you right click and go to manage you saw this part right when you right click and go to manage you saw this part so in this device manager if it's showing like this then there will be a problem in your driver so you can right click and install the driver from the device that is a default tool here another one so what is the problem here today can you tell me the problem so what can be the issue shall i zoom it okay see here and tell me the problem so this is also another snapshot of device manager what is the issue here network issue so which driver is missing basically samsung android so and android should be a mobile phone right mostly a mobile phone driver sometimes the mobile phone when you connect to your computer if it shows like this then your mobile phone driver is missing that means mobile phone is also a hardware no ne dekha hardware ka ni so when it shows like this the mobile phone driver is missing okay, that is the idea hope you got that idea right yes okay so there are, so when drivers are missing it show in in this device manager here audio driver missing and here uh, this one this is uh, showing here android leonardo some sorry arduino leonardo yeah some arduino related driver is missing and so likewise it show in the drivers right here i nvidia this is graphic card driver this is graphic card driver is missing so next day i think you can identify the errors right when drivers are missing here you can see lot of drivers are missing cd rom driver missing processor drivers missing monitor drivers missing uh visual drivers vga drivers missing a lot of missing drivers so just go and see your device manager and then also you can get to know about without installing any software you can understand the issues of your drivers okay next day i'll be discussing the next part with you then good night see you all next week sir thank you sir thank you sir nice sir good night good night sir